<laughs> yeah, so my name is Javier Antunes. I'm the owner of Tattoo Theory. I've been tattooing for about 15 years now. And for the last, I would say, three to five years, I've been using ZBrush along with uh, tattooing and kind of like designing to help uh, create my tattoos and have a little bit more of an easier workflow when it comes to creating that more three-dimensional space for realism, which uh, definitely helps. Right. So basically, I, what I want to show is this tattoo I did here. And so this piece in particular uh, was pretty much designed completely in 3D. There is a general workflow I kind of go with, which is uh, three main programs. It's uh, Daz Studio, uh, ZBrush, and KeyShot. So what's cool is, is that with Daz Studio, it's basically a free program where you have to buy each asset. So like your, your figures, your poses, your models, like if we're doing a night, we can grab armor from this guy. Like obviously the horse is a little strange. I don't know if necessarily somebody would want like a humanoid horse as a tattoo, but the armor is fantastic. The pose for the spear is fantastic. So basically every single one of these figures from the horses to the skeleton pose with the, with the scythe to, you know, the, the horse with like all the guts hanging out and everything that the demons, everything. All of them were basically grabbed initially from Daz Studio and then modified in ZBrush and then rendered out in KeyShot. And then lastly, obviously we always use, you know, a rendering program or a compositing program like Photoshop or Procreate, whatever the case may be. I personally, because I'm a PC kind of guy, I use Photoshop. So pretty much at the end of using KeyShot, rendering every single pass and all that stuff, I usually kind of composite them all together. And my goal is to basically show you guys the entire workflow, which is pretty quick for the most part once you have it all done. So the very first one is Dad Studio, which if we look here, basically it's super easy to kind of drag in a model. Uh, give you guys a quick little demonstration of how simple it is. Let's say this creature guy. But basically what happens is, is that you pop it right in and you can go ahead and change the pose. You can add armor, you can add wardrobe, you can add literally whatever you want to it. Like as quickly as that, it pretty much changes the figure that's on the actual horse itself. So for this tattoo in particular, I had a skeleton. So basically I posed the skeleton in the exact same way. There was really, you know, there's no difference as far as like how the bodies work and all that stuff. Literally you can grab each individual part and literally move them all around to kind of land exactly where you want it to go. And you can pose it, same thing with the horse. The horse, you can literally grab it, move it around, you know, the whole entire thing. You can drag and drop, push it around and all that good stuff. Once you're done here, you basically select the entire model, the entire scene, you click export, you export it out, and then you toss it over to ZBrush. And in ZBrush is where all the magic kind of sort of happens, where basically we grab every, every little bit of assets that we have, and we basically put them together, we do our sculpting and all that kind of stuff. And for the most part, it's super, like once you get the hang of it, because obviously in the beginning, it's not that super easy. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes easier over time and it becomes a lot more efficient. Like in the very beginning, when I first started 3D modeling, it, it was super slow. It took me like almost a month to create a design and stuff like that. But once you kind of develop these workflows, it's a lot easier to generate these pieces in a more understandable amount of time in the sense of like, obviously we're not gonna take two, three months to design an entire sleeve. But as you get better, as you get more familiar with the tools and things like that, you can generate a piece like this within a few days. So it's not too terrible. Like this one, I believe if I'm not mistaken, took me about, I would say three or four days. Once I figured out the poses I wanted and stuff like that, it took about three or four days to pretty much get nice and finished up. And basically all these models are their own individual things. So literally I can come in here I can change anything about it. I can make, you know, the neck bigger. I can sculpt on it however I wish. If I want to add, if I want to add literally anything I want to to it, you know, let's say I want to make little cloth pinches to the horse, I technically could. So you can literally have as much fun as you want. Now, the fun part is, is that once you have all this nice and taken care of, the really, really cool stuff happens in KeyShot because in KeyShot is where we're able to kind of like render the entire piece. Now, here's the fun part about this sleeve in particular. So there was an issue I had, which 3D kind of ended up creating a solution way more efficient than if I would have hand drawn the entire thing. So the first two days back to back I did, we did the, the uh, 
war version, the, the, the horse, the horse rider on the bottom. And then we did the deaf rider on the top. The next session, I ran into an issue where our conquest, the one with the archer, didn't quite fit right. Like the pose wasn't, didn't fit too well. Everything was kind of like too cluttered together. And the original pose that I had didn't work. Now, what's really cool about 3D modeling and stuff like that, like let's say I would have done this by pencil. If I would have done this all in pencil, I would have had to redraw the entire thing. But in 3D, all I got to do is just change the pose. Let's say the perspective was wrong. Let's say the pose is great, but the perspective is like way too harsh or it's way too flat. You can literally go in here and change all those qualities about it and pretty much make it fit exactly how we want it to fit, no matter what the scenario is, which is amazing. And then literally one by one, we render out each one of these pieces. The cool part too is that Keyshot does have a feature. It's not the best, but it does give you a nice little stepping stone where you could give it an outline. You know, at least it gives you like a beginning portion of your stencil. So basically you are ready to go to kind of like print it out and stuff like that. Obviously the face doesn't work, but you can always go in there, erase the face and pretty much just re-stencil that and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll, which definitely saved me a boatload of time. And then at the end, basically we go over to Photoshop we composite all the pieces together and then we have literally every single element that I use for that sleeve in particular. Obviously some of these I flipped around, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to place them, but I knew exactly like for the most part where I wanted to go with it. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for the most part. Uh, in here, you know, basically uh, took care of my, my outline, had everything pretty much ready to rock and roll and basically went to stabbing. <laughs>